Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back. And today I am doing a, another video on Haley's eczema treatment. So, she's two years old now. And I have had to try several different things on her. And, um... It's like certain times of the year is good and sometimes it's not so good. I'm now moisturizing with this here. It's showing backwards. So I moisturize her with this now. Um, I've been using this, this the CeraVe healing ointment. But it's this is kind of oily and it doesn't work as well. Although it says it's, you know, it has the... Um, you know, it's accepted by the eczema um, association. It's really oily. They have they have another brand um, that's in a white and red container that's anti itch. It works fairly well. Aquafair, hmm, it's a hit or miss. Um, this she needs something that's really really thick. So this can touche I found in Walmart. It has shea butter, coconut butter, and vitamin E. And I'm also using um, the pure African shea butter. But after her bath, I use this shea butter, which is the shea mango body butter. But let me show you her. This here looks like she fell. That is not a, from her falling. No. Be quiet. That is an eczema scar. She kicked the phone out of my hand. That's an eczema scar. All of this eczema scar. Right here is an eczema scar. And, uh, you know, on the back of her knees. I don't know if she's going to let me show you her arm. But there's a white patch right there on her arm. Let me see the other arm. Let me see. Let me see. And that is a really bad one. She's had that one since she was about four months old. So, what I have decided to do is her pediatrician told me, her pediatrician told me to do wet wraps. The wet wraps didn't work. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try the big bandages. And this is the ointment that they prescribed. It doesn't work either. But I'm going to put the shea butter on. And then I'm going to bandage it, cover it with the band-aid. And then I'm going to ace wrap it and see how that does. Because at night, she goes to hound scratching in her sleep so i'm going to see how this works the benadryl i was going to use the benadryl but i don't think i'm going to use that i'm going to try this first and see um if it works i might use the benadryl see look at her scratching already i'm going to uh, huh i know it scratches i know okay i'll rub it anyway i'm going to i'm going to try putting this on her now and um let you all know how it comes out. Okay, so I put a glob of the shea butter, which is this, on there for moisture. And then I'm going to put the bandage on top and see if it stays. Now also, already, you know. My, my sticker. Okay, I'll give you a sticker in a minute. I also put moisturizer on her. And as you can see, the band-aid is coming up. That is the point of the ace wrap. So I'm going to put that on her. Okay, so I put this on here. <clears throat> I got it on there loose, but not too loose because I don't want to cut off her circulation. I don't know if it's going to stay through the night because I don't... Oh my goodness. I don't want to put pants on her because she gets hot at night. Um, but going to see how this works and I know it's going to keep her from itching if she don't take it off in her sleep and I'm going to see how well it works I'm thinking about putting it on her arm also 
if she lets me. So, we'll see. We'll see how this comes out. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, Haley has decided to take her bandage off. I'll put it back on when she goes to sleep. Alright, it's the next morning. The bandage came off. The band-aid part, but the little wrap stayed on. Um, she did not scratch last night, obviously, because... I had it covered up, but you know, I knew it wasn't going to go away, but that's how it looks this morning. At least it prevented her from scratching. That's all I can say. Okay.